Okay, we have on the board the integral from five to zero of sine to the fourth x over sine to the fourth five minus x plus sine to the fourth x. So what we can do on this, even though it looks really complicated, is we can use the King's Principle, and I think that's gonna help us simplify this pretty nicely. So then for u, what we're gonna do, we're gonna substitute the sum of the two bounds, so it's gonna be five plus zero, which is five minus x. And then for x, so then x is gonna be five minus u, and our dx value is gonna be minus du. Okay, so let's make the substitution and see what happens. So first we'll plug in our bounds, so when we plug five in here, we get a zero, and we plug a zero in, we get a five. And that's one thing that always happens in these problems is the bounds get flipped like that. And then let's see, in our numerator, we have sine to the fourth, and our x is five minus u. Then we're gonna have sine to the fourth, uh, five minus x, this is gonna be a u here, plus, and then and again, the same thing, sine to the fourth, five minus u, minus du. Then what I can do is I can take the minus sign and bring it out front and use that to flip our bounds. But I think I'm just gonna do that and just write it in. So we're gonna have five here and a zero here, and this becomes a plus. And then for the next step, what I'm gonna do is we have this in terms of u, but I actually wanna do something to get it where I can work with our original integral. So I can just change this variable back to x. There's no problem with that in a definite integral. The variable name doesn't matter. So we'll rewrite this as five to zero sine to the fourth, five minus x over sine to the fourth, x plus sine to the fourth, five minus x. And then what we can do is just kind of to keep track, this is our original integral that we'll call i, but then we just manipulated it, and then this is also i, because these are all equal. So from here what I want to do, I want to add these two together, so we'll add the integral together, but we're just gonna use our original copy and this adjusted copy. Okay, so now I've just rewritten our two copies. And the thing to notice is, okay, so now that because we're at all x, we can put it under one integral. Okay, because we're adding and we have everything x. And then we notice because we have the same denominator, we can just add our numerators together. But when we do that, notice that what we have here is in the numerator, we're gonna have the exact same thing, sine 4x plus sine 4, five minus x. And that's exactly what we have here. So when we add these together, we're gonna have the integral from five to zero of just one dx. And then of course we know what the integral of one is, that's just gonna be x evaluated from five to zero. Plugging that in, we end up with five minus zero, and that's just five. And the only thing to remember is this isn't our final answer because we've got two copies of our integral, but that's easy to fix. We just divide by two on both sides, and for our final answer we have five halves. I got this problem from my quiz, King's Rule Integrals. I'll provide a link in the description. Please check it out. It's got a lot of good practice problems like this and some variety. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.